Hi. It's Wednesday. It's almost 9 o'clock in the evening. And every two days, my hands are already destroyed from sanitizing and washing them so much at work. It's great. They're pretty burny. <laughs> um... Uh, work is not as bad as I thought it was going to be, which is, excuse me, which is good. Um, it was busy the first two hours that we opened yesterday, and it was really overwhelming and really stressful and really panicky inside me. <laughs> um, but today was really slow, so it wasn't very stressful. And most people have been really nice. I've We've had, like, ser two rude people so far. Um, I had one person today who was, like, incredibly angry at me explaining to them how the counter rules works. Like, they were so mad, but didn't, like, outwardly voice it to me. They were just very huffy and angry-facey and, like, you know, tossing things very angrily and grabbing their bags really angrily and, like, huh, huh, and everything. But, like, I mean, that's where it is everywhere you go. If it's not, these people should be getting fined. I got to take passport pictures for a family of eight today. And then two other separate people got passport pictures done. It's weird. Everyone's just, like, really preparing for when everything opens again and the borders are open. They want to be ready to go, I guess. But passport photos are actually, like, one of my favorite things at work. Passport photos and shipping. I could do that all day long. They came in, like, 45 minutes before we closed, and it took just over half an hour to get it all done. And I, it was a great way to end my shift, which is good. I walked to work today. Um, I think I'm going to drive to work tomorrow, though, because my coworker that... Um, lives down the road from me, uh, who, um, needs a ride. So we walked together today, but he, uh, really wants an iced coffee from Tim Hortons. So I was like, we can drive tomorrow if you want, so we can get your iced coffee. And so uh, I'll get one too, but. <laughs> well, it's seven o'clock. I don't think I've been up this early since I visited Amber in Michigan. That's the, yep. It's the last time I was up this early. So that's great. Uh, it's nice and cool out. Like, it's warm, but it's cool. <laughs> so this is going to be nice. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to run for. I have zero energy right now, but we're going to attempt it. <laughs> I did it. I went four kilometers, and my pace was way better than normally. I mean, I didn't do the last kilometer, and it's possible that when I run five kilometers, I really slow down in the last kilometer, but... If I kept the same pace for the last kilometer, I would have done five kilometers in two minutes faster than I normally do it. So that's pretty exciting. But like, I had to go to the washroom the whole time. So I couldn't go five kilometers. I just couldn't do it. <laughs> Off to work. I hope it's slow again today. Danny doesn't want to be in my video. <laughs> when we came to get Timmy's, when we were just curbside pickup, it was, uh, there was no lineup. <laughs> and now we have to wait in line again. We're getting maple in our iced coffees. Yeah. I'm very excited for this. The tea fell off, but that's supposed to say Nat. But look at it. This package contains an abundance of loving non-physical hugs. Ah. Also, I got another maple iced coffee because maple. Also, because I had to chug it this morning, because I wear a mask at work, and um, I wouldn't have been able to drink it while I was working. So I had to, like, chug it down in, like, eight minutes, so I want to enjoy it this time. Look at what she did on the back. I didn't even notice this. And they're, like, squishy. They're squishy stickers. I love them. I mean, this adorable mask with bumblebees on it. And I can't wear my glasses with it. And I'm very upset. I need a hug now, and I don't have anyone to hug. I got it to fit. Look at how cute it is. So I'm excited. I'm going to wear it to work tomorrow. <laughs> I thought I would say um, work is okay. It's, it hasn't been busy, actually. It was really busy the first two hours that we opened on Tuesday, and since then it hasn't been busy. So it's not... Don't knock my... It's empty. My maple iced coffee's all gone, and I'm very sad. I ordered my groceries, and I get to pick them up in one week. 
the pickup times are like way shorter. Like the pickup wait times are way shorter now, which is great. So I'm picking them up on Friday next week after work. And I have way less junk food on it than I normally do. The only junk food I have is two Hagen dazs And only because it was two for four ninety eight, And they were six ninety eight if you only got one. So might as well I get two. And I mean, they're not going to go bad in the freezer. And some pizza pops. And the rest of the stuff I got was fruits and vegetables and a little bit of meat and eggs. And go me. <laughs> Ash drew his sword, and the gremlins hissed at him nastily. <laughs> I'm super close to finishing The Iron King. Super close. But it's almost midnight, and I'm really tired, and I want to get up and either go for a run or do a workout in the morning. I'm still not sure what I want to do. <laughs> So I just did a transform 20 workout, which was really hard because I don't have the same energy in the morning as I do in the evening for workouts, um, but I did it. Uh, I just, I'm always so empty feeling in the morning and it's definitely easier to go for a run when I feel empty than to do an actual like workout with like strength stuff in it, but I didn't want to go for a run. Sometimes I just don't want to. <laughs> that works, right? It's nice to be home and have two days off I'm alone. I've. Virgo wants me to open the window, but it's hot out and it's nice and cool in here. So, no, the window is staying closed, buddy. It's staying closed. Um, I'm gonna make tin for supper and I'm super excited. I was gonna put bacon on it, but I forgot the bacon is still frozen, so that's fine. I don't have to have bacon on it. I hope my gravy is good. Oh, I got more masks. My stepmom sent me some masks. They're a different style. Okay, so tip for if you're making poutine at home, it is hard for most people to find cheese curds. Cheese curds are not super common in most areas. So use mozzarella, but don't shred it. Break it into chunks. One might say that's too much cheese for one poutine. And I might say, fuck you. Oh. Also, if you're Canadian, how do you say poutine? Sometimes I say poutine, and sometimes I say poutine. Just depends what kind of mood I'm in. <laughs> or who I'm talking to. I'm definitely not going to say poutine to a French person. <laughs> also, do you say croissant or croissant? I have always said croissant. I've always grown up saying croissant. <laughs> Yum! Also, just so you know, I'm layering this. There's a layer of cheese and gravy already underneath this layer of fries. Mm. I make excellent decisions. Why? Why? Seriously. Sabrina is getting super intense, like super, super intense. And then just all of a sudden, out of the blue, oh, we're not going to play it anymore. Sorry. I've decided to give Sabrina a rest for now. It's almost 11, so I think I'm going to get a little snack and try to finish reading The Iron King because I have less than 30 pages left, I think. And um, it's fun because there's a character in this season of Sabrina that is a character in The Iron King. Which is pretty fun. Finished The Iron King. Um, I really liked it. There were some things that I didn't like about it, but overall, I thought it was a pretty solid story. And I liked the world and the magic and stuff like that. And it was just a nice little escape. I gave it four stars on Goodreads, but in my review I said it was probably more of like a 3.75. Um, and I... I do think I want to continue with the series. Like, it was it was good. Um, but I'm going to go to bed now. <sighs> it's really hot out. <laughs> uh, but I've decided to read the next book in the Chronicles of Narnia. But I'm reading it in, in publication order. Not chronological order. I'm going to read it the way the author intended. <laughs> My 
my mom made bagels. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm super tired, I think, because I was in the sun for a bit. Uh, and it's really hot out. It's like 30 degrees out. Um, it's not uh, bad in the shade, and I was in the shade when my mom came to visit. Um, but yeah, it's really hot in the sun. But uh, I think I'm going to do a workout, but I don't know what I'm in the mood for. Definitely something short. Luckily, it's super comfortable, the temperature in my apartment. Like, I'm very comfortable wearing a hoodie and no slippers. Which is great because it's really hot outside. <laughs> I am currently cooking some bacon because I'm going to make mini non bread pizzas. I'm going to put bacon on them. Uh, I've read almost half of Prince Caspian. It's super short um, and it's really good. I love the writing. It's so cute. It just is, it's so adorable. It brings me so much joy. So, I talked to my friends on Marco Polo, and it made me cry, because I miss them. So that's fun. Um, I thought I'd update you on that. I feel like working during this is not better than being alone the whole time. It's just different. Because... The physical days, like Monday to Friday when I'm at work, are less lonely because I'm at work for eight and a half hours with people. But it's a little exhausting because I have to literally tell every single customer how the counter works. And probably 70 to 80% of those customers I have to repeat throughout the process um, because they don't listen um, or they don't understand um, and a lot of people think that it's okay for them to lean over the red tape as long as their feet aren't in it. So there are aspects of working that are kind of like mentally draining. Um, and then also, of course, there's the people who don't believe that what's going on is, is real or a big deal and that we're making, we're blowing everything out of proportion and they like to voice their opinions on that. There aren't very many of those people which is good. And so like that's exhausting and frustrating. And then I come home to no one. So like there's aspects of work that are good because like I'm not just at home by myself with nothing to do. I think it's going to be easier for me to plan my lunches and eat healthier again because I'm not just going to be at home bored and sad and wanting to just eat my feelings the whole time. Um, and it'll be maybe hopefully easier to get into a routine. But then I come home and I'm lonely and I feel like I don't have much of an evening and then I have to go to bed and then go to work the next day because I don't get home until 6.30 and I'm tired. And then today was like mostly good, but like just talking to my friends made me cry. So it's like... Being back at work is not better, but it is also not worse. It is just different. Hi. It's uh, afternoon already. I slept until, oh, only 9.30, but then I just, I've been talking to my friends on Marco Polo and uh, watching RuPaul's Drag Race. I'm watching season 12. And I have to fold laundry still. I could fold laundry while I watch RuPaul's Drag Race. It's definitely a good option, but I'm lazy and I just want to sit and not do anything while I watch it, but I'll fold my laundry. <laughs> it is 3.30 and I have just laid on the couch all day long. I did fold and put away my laundry, but uh, I fell asleep watching RuPaul's Drag Race for I'm not sure how long. Not a whole episode, I don't think, but like I've done literally nothing productive except for folding and putting away my laundry, but like I don't even, like I feel like a garbage. It's a very comfortable temperature in my apartment, so I hope we don't get too hot wearing this 20 pound blanket, but I really just wanted something heavy, so it feels like I'm getting a cuddle. Which I'm, it doesn't feel like you're getting a cuddle, but it's better than not a 20 pound blanket. I, I'm gonna try and finish reading Prince Caspian. I'm already halfway through, so we'll see how this goes. 
Well, I've been sitting here for about an hour, and I haven't read anything. So I only have about 20 pages left of Prince Caspian, um, but I'm kind of sleepy and I haven't made supper or put lunches together for the week or anything like that and it's already after 7 so I'm going to do that and eat and then hopefully finish reading Prince Caspian. <laughs> I finished Prince Caspian. It was good. I did not like it um, the way I liked The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, but I still did really enjoy it, and I thought it was lovely. It was a wonderful story, so I gave it four to five stars, and I'm probably going to watch the movie soon, within the next week, probably, but I got to end the vlog here. I might do a, a Transform 20 workout, um, and then, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I kind of feel like staying up late for some reason. Uh, I might edit this vlog after my workout, but I'm going to say goodbye. So bye.